Hi there, and welcome to our weekly reading. Things are a little bit different this week because I made some changes to my office and didn't consider what would be best as far as making videos. So I am actually having to handhold my camera, which is my phone, and I apologize for any movement, okay? So, our card for this week is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Boom. <laughs> so, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune recommends considering what you have completed, what you are in need of reward for, award for, what you have been working on that has come to a conclusion that is satisfactory, successful, and what you will do with this energy. What will you do which will permit you to move on in your next endeavor, your next goal, your next outlook, your next permission? So, well, that's pretty awesome. When I do see the Wheel of Fortune, I do think of cycles, I think of changes, I think of life events. However, there is that element of completion, of conclusion, and I like that success was brought up because oftentimes we don't give ourselves credit for completing things, even small things like, I don't know, cleaning our spaces. And those things are important. They take energy, they take time, and the results can be really beneficial. So consider what you can give yourself some credit for this week that you've completed recently or are in the throes of completing. And then what is the energy of that going to contribute to moving forward? What's next? what's possible. The permission thing is interesting. What might you need to give yourself permission to do next, now that you've completed this last piece? All right? Really quick, necessarily so, and until next week, you take really good care. Lots of love.